Here is a Microsoft Surface Pro 8 and you have an issue where you forgot your PIN or password. If you forgot your PIN or password, then basically you have two options from here, okay? So one is you can tap down here, I forgot my PIN, and then get Microsoft to send you like a code to your email address, to your email, and then you can go ahead and log in, and then you can go ahead and change your uh, PIN or password. If that doesn't work for you, then we can do a, a second way is we can go ahead and do a factory reset, okay? So this is the first way here. So what I can do is, let me go into the sign-in screen here and my pin or password, so let me go ahead and, okay, okay, so that's not it. Now I'm gonna tap on okay, and I'm gonna tap down here, I forgot my pin. I forgot my pin right there. And wait one second. Okay, so now, here's my email address, okay, and it says, we'll send a code to your email address to sign in, okay, so I'll tap on send code. Now I have to wait for a code on my email, then input that into here, and then click on sign in, and then I can go ahead and change my password or PIN, okay? Now if you have an issue with this, the other way you can do this is we can go ahead and do a factory reset. And how we do that is just go back to the sign in page, and then first thing is you wanna bring up the virtual keyboard. So that, see that little bottom right hand side, that little person right there? Let's tap on that. As soon as I tap on that, Make your computer easier you'll to use. see on screen keyboard, Windows will okay? Read and scan. Tap on that. And voila, we got this screen here, okay? So now what we wanna do is this. We wanna go into the, uh, do the factory reset. We have to get into the uh, Windows recovery menu. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on shift. So basically it's press and holding shift and then go to the power button down here, tap on the power button and just tap on restart, okay? Restart and now let it, let it boot back up into the Windows recovery menu. All right, so from here we're gonna tap on troubleshoot. And then we're gonna tap on reset this PC. We're gonna tap on that. Now, take note here, okay? We have two options right here, okay? We have the first one where we can do a factory reset and keep my files. Removes apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. So basically, if we go with this one here, it's only gonna save our personal files, like our some of our documents from school, um, your photos and videos and whatnot, okay? And down here, this removes everything. So every so if you click on this down here, it's basically going to be as if you bought the uh, this tablet or computer brand new and took it out of the box. Okay. And with either one of these, uh, once it's done and you start going through the setup process, then you, you can go ahead and create a new pin or password. So again, if you have personal files that you want to keep, you don't have it backed up, you can go up here, or you can do remove everything. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go with remove everything here. I don't have anything on here that I, I really um, care about and I just wanna wipe everything clean for myself, okay? So from here, reset this PC, you can do cloud download or local reinstall. I'm just gonna go with local reinstall right there. And then for me, I have uh, two options. I can just remove my files, okay? Use this if you're keeping your PC. So if I use this here, it's just gonna remove uh, my personal files and whatnot, okay? But down here, again, this one down here, fully clean and drive, it's a completely clean out the whole entire system as if I bought it brand new. And that's what I want to do, but this is going to take a little bit longer. So, but I'm still going to go with this one here. So let me tap on that right there. And then this here pops up, reset this PC. You can read through that. And I'm going to go and tap on reset. Now this is the longer way to do it, okay? I'm cleaning out everything. This typically, it says it can take up to three hours. Uh, realis realistically, it's going to take about like an hour. It'll probably take mine about 45 minutes because I don't have much on here. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run. And when this is done, I'll be in the beginning setup process. I have to choose my language and keep on going down until I choose a password, uh, face ID password, and so on. So it's resetting this PC at 7%. Once it gets to 100%, then it's gonna, um, the status bar is gonna start back over and then it's gonna be installing. So I'm just gonna leave it here. For me, it's probably gonna take like 45 minutes. So I'll come back in 45 minutes and hopefully we're up and ready, all right? Now it is installing. Please keep your computer on and plugged in. And there we go, all done. Pretty simple. Any questions or issues, uh, just comment below, right? See you in the next one. Bye.